Uh, first off, we want to give all praises to the Apollo, uh, Shem Yahushai, uh, Shem Kakadash. Double honor to Apostle and Elders Grand Middlestone, teach her for well. Uh, peace and blessings to Dr. King scattered throughout the four corners. Keep his word in truth and sincerity. All right, this is Brother Bonilla and Brother Doc. You know, I'm the I from the GMS Dallas camp. You know, so uh, we're just pretty much going to go into, uh, you know, we got the main camp over there. Gonna go into uh, you know whatever whatever's in the spirit, you know. Uh, you know uh, Jeremiah 86. I started verse five. Jeremiah 85. Why then is this people of Jerusalem sliding, sliding back by a perpetual black, uh, backsliding? They hold fast the seat. They refuse to return. Yeah, man, the, uh, our people refuse to return, and that's and, and our people have a long track record of, of being that stiff-necked, rebellious people, man. You know what I'm saying? If you read the Amar, uh, 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 Nahum, uh, 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 ninth chapter, the Lord literally gives you a list of all the things that He delivered us from, and uh, uh, at the same time, the list of uh, uh, us going back and, and going off. You know. So, so, so that's why the Most High uh, makes that account of us being that rebellious, uh, stiff-necked, hard-headed, stupid, sottish uh, children. You know. Verse six: I have hearkened and heard, but they speak not aright. No man repented him of his wickedness, saying, "What have I done?" Every one turned to his course as a horse rushing into the battle. Yeah, man, and that's our people today. They not they not out here walking around and uh, uh, repenting, thinking back like oh I shouldn't have done that. Or, Hold on, let me go back and, and worship the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me repent of my ways and, and go back to the ways you have us. No, none of these people in their mind. Uh, uh, read that last part about the horse. It says everyone turned to his horse as a horse rushing into the battle. Yeah, man, nobody returned to horse as a horse. You know what I'm saying? These people are completely gone. Like the nation, the the, the, the two thirds of the nation of Israel, is, there's no coming back from the, uh, from their wickedness, man. Like they, at this point, they just gotta die, man. That's why uh, the Lord said that in Isaiah the first chapter. You know, the whole head is sick. You know, you, you got putrefied sores everywhere. No ointment has been put on them. The only, the only, the whole head is sick. The only way to, to, to cleanse it is to be for it to be burnt up. I'm gonna read that in NLT, brother. It says, I listen to their coming. This is Jeremiah 8 and 6 in the NLT. I listen to their conversations and they and don't hear a word of truth. Is anyone sorry for, for doing wrong? Does anyone say what a terrible thing I have done? No. All are running down the path of sin as they as swiftly as a horse galloping into battle. You see? I'm gonna read that one more time, bro. It says I listen to their conversation and they don't they don't hear a word of truth. Because whatever whatever conversation our people have, it ain't no truth in it, man. All these different uh uh, uh, uh you know like like uh like BLM and, and Islam, all these different uh, uh things our people been you know these different uh uh, uh damn okay I can't even think of the word right now. All these different things our people been trying, you know what I'm saying? They don't work, man. Because ultimately they don't have repentance at the uh, at the forefront of the message, man. All these set from the black from the Black Panthers, all that shit, it don't require you to repent, man. You know? That's why it ain't been working. Our people have been searching and searching all around the, uh, the damn world, man, looking for the answers. The answers in the Bible, man. Like the brother had said earlier, bro. Our people don't look, they don't look uh, 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 back to the scriptures, man, because they say, oh, that's the old way, man. But the scriptures say, seek you the old past, man. Find that way with that good way, man. That, you know, the good way is following your how about you was shot, man. You see? That's why all this shit that our people follow after don't work for them, man. You see, you still you you, you wonder why, man? Because there's no you. It don't. It's not connected with the Lord, man. You know. Got that zeal, and what it speaks of in Jeremiah. Uh, I know, but Jeremiah said, uh, if "You get a word behind you, you get uh, you get into the right path." Oh uh, yeah, like that. Get, uh, I heard a, uh, heard a word behind. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. You know, you get the word behind you, man, and talking to that one Jake who was complaining on the job. Yeah, y'all see that and shit. Yeah. He was in the right spirit, but bro, your answers is right here in the Bible, bro. I mean, what he's saying is for real. We should be fucking working. I get it, but Jacob bug out because y'all don't have this light. 
man. The most I was trying to tell y'all, man. So, y'all, man, you heard that. I think we brought that out today, uh, that video we did, brother. You heard it. You heard that voice behind you because your ass was going the wrong way, man. Yep. You was walking the wrong way. The Lord had to correct you. Hey, come back. Come this way. You're going the wrong way, man. That's that voice. You see? That's repentance. Yep. Turn, turn back, man. You know what I'm saying? So I got one real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 5. In verse 3, because the Lord, hey, man, the Lord been putting Jake to death left and right, man. And he going to continue to do so, man. You know, because y'all going to continue to refuse. It's written. Uh, Hosea, the fourth chapter. My people are destroyed uh, uh, for the lack of knowledge. Come, come. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 3. O Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. You know, the, 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 the men of the Lord... The servants, the prophets are out here, man. Beginning to start with Apostle Tahar on down. And like-minded men that may not uh, uh, go uh, under the uh, banner of uh, of a uh, uh, GMS, but they teach the same doctrine, man. They haven't heard from the, the Apostle's doctrine, man. You know what I'm saying? And they, they're out here through the four corners of the earth bringing out these this, this message, man, telling Jake. And when I say Jake, that's the true uh, biblical Israelites consisting of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. You make up the 12 no longer tribes of the nation of Israel. And though these men are out here throughout the four corners of the earth telling you, thus said the Lord, man, repent, man, because the Lord is going to kill you. So it says, uh, and that's what it's going into. Uh, uh, Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Even though you're out here crying, you ain't truly grieved because you're going to continue to do the madness you've been doing. You know, thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. And that's that rebuke, man. You know what I'm saying? It says they have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. And the brother bought out a, a, a scripture going into that return, man. Return to what? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of the uh, Heavenly Father, whom the uh, world ignorantly refers to as God, uh, 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 Jehovah, you know, Yahweh, Ahiah. That's not his name, man. The true name of the Lord is Yahweh. And it's only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly, ignorantly refers to as Jesus Christ. His true biblical name is Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? And you're the chosen people of those two entities. Yeah, walk and talk with it. Right. You, you, you yeah, to return yeah, to those powers yeah. and to the way of those powers, man. You know, go, go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 keep speaking. Shit, yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to yeah, return go. to the ways of those powers, man. You know what I'm saying? But two-thirds of our people, the nation of Israel, is going to refuse that, man. You know? And, and for that, the Lord is going to, is like it says, he's been been stricken you've been consumed and yet you continue you know what i'm saying so the lord is going to continue to consume you uh, give you strike you man you know put you to death you know and you, you want to do that the whole day so he says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge man this is the lack of this is the knowledge that you're lacking, man. Like the like the Quran said, you know, the Bible, this this knowledge, man, which Jake continues to reject. Yeah. You know? So he says you're gonna be destroyed for that lack of knowledge, man. You continue to reject this, you're gonna you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know? Read. It says, oh, sorry. No, it says uh that thou shalt be no priest to me. Start to read it from the top. Yeah. So Isaiah 4 and 6. Good. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the Lord said he's going to reject you. He's going to refuse and reject this knowledge. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashim is going to reject you, man. It says, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So he's going to forget you and your kids, man, your seed, man. You know, death, that's what's coming. Repent or die, man. You know, that's the message. I want to get that word for forgot, man. All right, well, well let's, let's start at the top, man. It says, since you uh, rejected knowledge, man, and, and what is also not, what is, what is uh, ultimately knowledge, man? Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. It's the beginning of knowledge. You reject the, you reject the fear of the Lord, man. Right. You see? Right. And it says, it's that word for forgotten, man. It's uh, strong, H7911, uh, Shaka. It says, to forget, to ignore, to cease to care. The Lord is going to cease to not give a fuck about you niggas, man. 
That's why he's gonna let Esau run rampant, man. On you niggas, bro. That's why it says in Zechariah what Zechariah 13 that two thirds shall be cut off and die, man. Because the Lord is gonna cease to care about you, man. Because how people refuse to return, man. It's only a women that's gonna return, man. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity and right. mock you at your coming. Yep. You know, it, it, that's, 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 uh, that's how it was uh, set up by the Lord, man. The Lord was calling out. You know what I'm saying? That's why he said that in Isaiah, the, uh, Isaiah the first chapter as well. Saying, uh, come, let us reason together, said the Lord. Okay. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as wool. The Lord was uh, willing to reach out, uh, reach out to us. And what we do, man, we rejected it. As a, as a nation of people, we, uh, we rejected the, the, the mercy of the Lord, man. You know, that's why the Most High set up the, uh, the elect, that remnant that's always been there, you know, to, to be, to be uh, saved out of the, the uh, destruction that's coming to the two thirds of Israel. How the Lord reaching out to you through his man. The Lord is not about to come down off his throne to talk to you niggas like you in your room smoking a blunt, man. Right. He's not about to talk to you like that, man. Come on, man. I'm about to die, bro. Yeah. Niggas have niggas be on me, man. Lord talk, talk to the Lord ain't did nothing, bro. He ain't talking to you, man. He speak through his man and I always been that way. Even from the beginning it's been that way, man. You see? Like I said, what is that? Let me grab one, bro. Make your point though, bro. Yeah, no, yeah, he's right. Like these, these these people really want the Most High to come out this throne, walk down, and come to you, per, come to him personally, saying, you know, uh, showing them a miracle or something, giving them a reason why they uh, look like, this is what you got to do. No, man, the Most High's not going to do that. The Most High's not going to waste his time with you, man. Right now it's a great period, man. Yep. So called the great area, so to speak. This Hebrews one and one. The Most High, who at sundry times and in, 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 like in, in diverse manners, spake in past times unto, unto the fathers by the prophets, man. You see? That's the Lord's mouthpiece, man. The prophets. He'd always send a messenger, man. You see? And, and it was always up to our people if they're going to hearken or they're or they not, man. You know? You're going to take heed or you're going to get your ass punished, man. You see? Right there with the Lord. Luke 1. Uh, one Luke 1 and verse 70. It says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. There it is, man. Just like the Quran said, man. The Lord speaks through the mouth of his prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? It's been that way since the world began, man. Since, since the beginning of time, man. The Lord been dealing with through, through the mouth of his prophets. And like the uh, uh, the Quran uh, uh, said uh, about the, the Lord ain't going to uh, come down off his throne to come deal with you, you hard-headed, stiff-necked niggas. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. It says, surely the Lord God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. The Lord ain't going to do nothing. He ain't got to. The Lord is the ultimate king. What king has to do anything? He ain't got to do nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? But what, what he want to do, you know, which put you niggas to death, he going to do that. He going to kill your ass. You know, but it says the Lord God, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So that secret, the, the secrets of these scriptures, man, you know, they're being revealed to, to the prophets, man, the servants of the Lord, man. Hey, dude, you said that, brother, the, the king is not going to come off his throne to tell you what it is. He's going to send a message, man. Just like if you watch that movie 300. Now, Xerxes didn't come there. He sent the message. That's when Leonidas kicked that thing into the well, bro. You see? So the uh, king always sends his messages that likewise with if it's like this with us, it's likewise with the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. You know? How much more for him? Yeah, exactly. Come on, bro. <laughs> and these people don't they, they don't understand, man. They think because they know us, they knew us. Right. Because they don't know us now, man. Huh. We ain't them same niggas, man. That's right. We ain't those same people that we used to be, man. Right. You see? So you, you think you know us. That's why you that's why they that's why they treat us like like child. Ain't this the father of the son? Exactly. Exactly. This is Joseph's son. We know his sisters. Right. Yeah, brothers, man. Like our people look at us the same way. They can't see that the Lord is dealing with us, man. Right. But that's how the Lord set it up. It says in the Corinthians, man, the most I chose the base things, man. It's, he's not going to, hey, 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 man, a man of the Lord is not going to come flash. The Lord, the Lord ain't set it up that way, man. They ain't going to come with, with, with $5,000 suits, man. 
the goddamn two thousand dollar handkerchief, man. Right. You That's see? Right. Right. They don't come rag tag. Look at John the Baptist, man. Now John, oh, the, John oh, the Baptist was in this day. You people would think he crazy. Oh man, well, they would think he crazy. He would get <laughs> camel skin out there eating locusts and honey. Right. They think he crazy. They think it's crazy. On a rough as hell, he looking you know? <laughs> <laughs> You want a thug, right, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm just saying, off the look, it's off the look. Right, off the look. Right, right. Yep. Hey, but hey, that's, that's why. But it says the second that the Most High, he don't, just like when, uh, when Samuel went and, and went to uh, 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 find King David, remember he was looking at his brother, oh, he gotta be him. That nigga probably swole. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It ain't about the appearance, man. Right. It says in the scripture, man, the Most High see it, not as man see it, man. You see, the Most High look on the inner, man. You see? He don't care how, he don't care how swole you are, man. He didn't pick that. He said he chose the base things of the world to confound that that that, that, uh, that which is strong, man. What we paraphrase. This is uh, Matthew 22, verse 1. I mean, how shall I answer and speak unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son. And that king is talking about Yahweh, and the son talking about Yahweh Shai. And set forth his servants and called them that were bidden to the wedding. They would not come. You know, so we're them servants, and the Lord, and the Lord, you know, Yahweh sent us out into the world to, to bid these people to the wedding, man. For the for the wedding of Yahweh Shai uh, unto Israel. You know, and then what it says, it said, and they would not come. We're talking about are we out here preaching to these two-thirds, and we're telling them, breaking down the scripture and explaining to them that they need to repent. And they say, like, nah, I don't believe in that, I believe in Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That's that's when they, they say they, they they would not come, or maybe they do believe in the name and believe it in the breakdown and that they receive it, but they don't they will make an excuse. As a matter of fact, it's gonna go into you know? yeah. It says and set forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants saying, Tell them which are bidden, behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, my fatlings are killed. All things are ready to come unto the marriage. You know, so, so the most high set up this, you know, it, you know, it's a it's a it's a, uh, it's a metaphor it's a metaphor. You know what I'm saying? The most high uh, put out his his, his uh, 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 big table full of full of food and, and you know candlesticks and everything's lit uh, lit up. You know what I'm saying? Everything's good, you know, everything's ready to go. The wedding is ready. Right? So now the servants are out there telling them, hey, the, hey, the king's son, you know, it's Wedding's ready, let's go. You know what I'm And then it says in verse 5, but they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm and the other to his merchandise. It's not. No, yeah, that's what exactly what our people are doing, man. They're making light of the situation. We tell them, man, the Lamont's going to come back, he's going to destroy this place. You know, we saw going to go into slavery, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people are going to be destroyed if you don't repent. You know what I'm saying? The whole world's about to be turned on its head. Uh, Matthew 22, verse 5. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm and the other to his merchandise. These niggas are doing when they pass by us every week in and week out. Wherever the put the set up camp is. They make a light of the message that we're putting out, man. That's not our message, it's the message of the Lord, man. You know, not people to repent. Those doors of mercy are closed, and we see in what's happening on the earth, man. Man. You see, and these people really don't realize what's about to happen, bro. Right. And once they realize, it's going to be too fucking late, man. Them doors of mercy is going to, then you go, then your ass, the, that door of mercy is going to be closed, man. Then you're going to get the full wrath of the Lord, man. The Lord ain't going to have no mercy on this. That's why I said in uh, Ezekiel 9. You slay utterly old and young, young maids, women, and children, man. But come down there the man that had that mark. See? So it's going to be a particular man. That's gonna be covered in that time, and while all hell breaks loose, you see, the Lord is gonna make like the scripture say, man, He's gonna make His man more precious than fine gold. You know, but right now you can't, hey man, right now we look at it as the bottom of the barrel, man. You know, the brother uh, Mike, I was going into it earlier, man. How women just look at us like we little boys, man. They have no respect for us. They always got to talk back and say some shit, man. Can't never shut the hell up. But when it comes to the so-called white man, that whole attitude, they whole attitude switches, man. Why? Because women respect power. You see, they don't realize that the, 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 the power of the heaven and earth is actually dealing with us now, man. You see, they think the stuff that we're doing, that we are you. They don't, they don't really comprehend what we're doing, man. You see, 
But when in this time to come, it's going to be shown, like it said in 2nd Ezra 16, then shall be known who am I chosen. Because the Lord is going to show in that time. That's what's going to make us more present and fine gold. Now you can't get a motherfucking bitch. The fucking, now, the, all of that goddamn woman got to say now, oh, man got to do something. He got he to do this. He got to do that for me. Well, that's what that world going to be flipped. Now we going to be saying that shit. Bitch, what can you do for me? Hey, you will do a hey man, in, in a time we come, we don't give a damn about how pretty you is, bitch. Can you make some bread? What can you do? Besides shake your ass, man. You know? You gonna baby, you're gonna get dusted off, man. You you gonna be proud. Verse 6 it says, and the remnant took his servants and treated them uh, lightly and slew them. And isn't that isn't that the history of the prophets and uh, amongst the the, the uh, nation of Israel, man? It's coming back. Does the scripture say that, man? They, the, the day that they kill you, gonna think that they did the most high faith. So that's coming back, man. You know, these niggas gonna actually uh, 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 kill some of us, man. Thinking that they, they thinking that they doing the Lord's will. The Lord want this. Then they're gonna realize what they done did, man. Verse 7 it says, But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. The king, the high, the high, the high, that king is the house. See how he's gonna hear that? The scripture tell you that the souls of the just be playing continue. Those righteous, they're the innocent and righteous blood. You see that the, the old brothers, whoever them brothers may be, <coughs> that get killed on this on this side, gonna be crying out to the heavenly father, avenge us, man. So like I said, the king heard about it, and what bro? Then oh yeah, but when the king heard thereof, he was wroth. Yep. And he sent forth his armies Woo! and destroyed those murderers man. and up their Oh city. my goodness, bro. Lord gonna send forth the heat. Hey, that's why your house shot coming back with the whole fleet of angels, man. He coming back with the whole army, man. He said, he, he said, what? Burn this city? Lord gonna burn this shit up, man. You, you people think it's fun and games now, man. Yep. Cause pretty soon you, it ain't gonna be fun when your ass goes to the store. Ain't no damn food on the shelf, man. And your president, who, who you, who you went out and voted for, <laughs> telling you there ain't nothing he can do. Cause he already telling you that, man. Look at all the warnings. Look at all the news articles that come. Servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and, and as many ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they should found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Even here, you got a high power in the heavens passing out spiritual invitations to a royal wedding. Now, your high power was what? The sacrificial lamb. Now that dinner is ready. That's what he's reading. You know, the joy had to be sacrificed. You know? right. So now the dinner is made ready, man, to go out here and bid you into this. You see, but you don't want to come to a royal wedding? You're not spiritual, man. Right. And so, uh, you know, like it goes into, you know, he said, bid them that uh, those were bidden that were good and bad, you know, because we all come from different uh, walks of life. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, all, all these brothers have, have lived the life that they regret when they come into this now. You know what I mean? So, so uh, those those that the Most High have been, and then they slew the, you know, they had made excuses saying like, well, I gotta do this, I gotta, you know, I, know, I got a business, I gotta, you know what I mean? And, uh, got some land. Yeah, I got some land. Got some ground I gotta go tend to. You know, I so, just got married. Yeah. So all those, and then, you know, the ones that slew the prophets, those were not found worthy. You know, so, so the Lord uh, sent out more servants they those, like I said, that were good and bad, man. You know, which the you know, Lord willing represents us. It says, verse 11, And when the king came in to see the guest, he saw there a man which had no, not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. You know, and this is verse 13, Then said the king to the servants, By him hand and foot, Take them away. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that's what it represents. Even in the book of Job, it says, uh, Job said, I have put on righteousness as a garment, man. You see? The scripture says, keep that, keep that, uh, uh, you know, so you won't be found naked, man. Yeah, yeah. Keep Make sure you keep that yeah. garment, man. You see? Talking about that truth, man. You see? When the Lord come back and he sees something, uh, uh, they say that in, uh, what is that, Zephaniah? Talking about the, uh, 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 u
Got some slides on. Yeah. 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 Hey, man, that's true. A lot of people have been called to this. A lot of people have fallen out. And then, you know, we still, we still waiting uh, uh, you know, for the end. You know, to see who, 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 uh, who uh, stood for the truth until the end, like the scripture says. You know? Yeah. I got one. Because when y'all, uh, when I had made a statement, y'all don't think. The Lord is not dealing with the men out here that's trying to wake these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans up. Like I said, women respect power, right? Check this out. The kings asked these eight and four, where the word of a king is, there is power. Is it not this? Is this not what the word of the king is right here? So just because we ain't got the, the physical attributes or the monetary gain and the big-ass mansion and this, that, the third, doesn't mean we ain't got no power, man. The Lord saying, uh, what it says, in the Corinthians, it speaks about the Lord give power to the weak to confound the wild in this world or the, or, the, or the strong thing in this world. But see, that pulls you people not spiritual, man, because like, the, like the, the brother said, you're looking on the outer appearance, man. The Lord looking on the inner appearance. So when it says, but the word of the king is, there is power, and who may say unto him, what doest thou? Are y'all in the of the Lord? Who, who, who gave y'all commission to do this? The words of Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat, because in 1 John 2, he said he, uh, he gave an unction to, uh, what was it say? Talk about an unction. We have an unction from the Lord, meaning we know all things through balance and through whatever measure he give us to come out here and tell you these things. But you look at this as though it's not so. Right. But the Lord is dealing up here, you got it, right? Yeah. And brothers walk the street, though, up the street. Yeah, you got it. You got it. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 1. Look royal. Brothers with garments on look royal to me. Uh, I'm gonna jump down verse 21. It 
it says, but after that, in the wisdom of the Most High by the world, like, verse 21, it says, but after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom do not die. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Yep, see, the foolishness of preaching. And yeah, we out here uh, to the world, we look, and like the scriptures say, foolish. Understand, we receive knowledge and understanding, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that this place is not going to be last to be here forever. We're looking for a world that does it, that, that uh, a world to come that's way complete, a million, infinity times better than this place, man. Not not only for us, but for our people. That's not even for our people, but for, for the rest of these seasons too, man. Because they're going to be chilling. Everybody, animals, trees, the water's going to be clean. You ain't got to worry about pollution. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about a smog in the air. You know, uh, you ain't got to worry about the food, the type of food that what's in the food you're eating. You know, you ain't got to worry about your kids uh, going out and playing by right. themselves. Fucking right. animal alerts every fucking day, man. man. Bro, about two, three times a damn day, man. Yeah. You see, like yeah. the brother said, man, we look for a world where the world is righteous. Like this nigga is so weak that this nigga will press the trees, bro. They tell you that and I say that the tree, the trees are people rejoice, bro. Right. This nigga going around cutting down the goddamn rainforest, man. Why would you do that? That shows you that this nigga really not, he saw really don't got it, man. See? This nigga just made it. He did wicked, bro. You know, a right a righteous ruler would, would know know how to use these things on the earth, man. The most I gave us instruction, and it's right here in the scriptures, man, on how to run the world. He saw he done went to Walmart and got a goddamn uh, TV stand and threw the instructions away and just started doing his own thing, man. Started trying to do it in here. Putting, <laughs> trying to put F with H. You know, you get the <laughs> you get a damn thing, got a little stickers and shit. I wonder how to put them together, man. He saw just doing his own. He just doing it, just making his own shit up, man. And when he done this, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I saw a video to show an example of, uh, of what a real elephant herd should look like. And if you go and they showed a video, a clip of uh, the 1950s, when uh, uh, the herds of uh, elephants looked like, man, miles of elephants. Miles, like you just, just, they all walking together, miles. And now, now, now you see a herd of elephants, like what, 15? Yeah, 15, 15 of them? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous, man. Lions are definitely an endangered species. Yeah, how many, how many, how many species of animals have you heard uh, that have gone extinct? Oh, it shouldn't be like that. Like, like the scripture say, man, life should be flourishing, man. Be fruitful and multiply, man. Not, not, not just you know, for, for talking about us, but you know, people yeah. like animals are supposed to be flourishing too. That's crazy, man. Hey, hey, I looked at that part of the other day. How like all those species, some of the most of the species that they we saw deem extinct. They started to find them again. But the most high had to went through that. The most high had to, you know, he ain't gonna let Esau totally destroy all the, all, all, you know what I'm saying? All, all the certain particular animals. He gonna hide them, bro. You know? Come That's why these couple of days, but the most high is really gonna let these animals get busy, bro. Stop. All I'm these catching. animals that the scriptures talk about, newly created creatures, yeah. creatures that can breathe fire, man. Yeah. And if you, how, how can you not believe that, man, when, when we know, like, who, who Esau doing this damn natural thing, geographic shit? You know, they got, they got fucking little beetles that can shoot acid out there, goddamn uh, uh, little horn, man. Actual acid, bro. So how, how, how why, why not <laughs> Leviathan, bro? Right. You see? All these creatures that, that's in the, the, the oceans will come out, man. All these creatures that's in these woods that he saw, Bigfoot, all that shit don't come out on his saw ass. Like the apostle said, it's gonna beat, uh, beat white people up, man. <laughs> <laughs>
all things. This is his creation. The people, this is so he do what he do what he want with his creation, man. That's right? Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Same as five and eighteen. It says, "Woe well, unto you that desire the day of the Lord." To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And this is what we talk about, man. We talk about that day. The Most High unleashes His vengeance, man, upon the earth. You know, saying all them, all them uh, uh, newly created beasts that are hiding out in these forests and these, these different types of world, whether it be in the mountains or in the ocean, the or with the caves. Board. Tropical rainforest over there in that area. What, no, what is it? Yeah, Amazon. Amazon, yeah, Amazon, yeah, Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. That's one of them. Oh, it's so dense. This nigga can't even get to it. Right. It's so dense. He can't even see. It's so dense. He can't even see it when he fly over it, bro. <laughs> so the Lord, right. yeah, bro. Yeah. So the Lord got yeah. shit hitting in there that he's going to allow to come out, bro. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's going to be used like the, like the hell that had uh, pulled that priest up for his purpose. Right. The Lord made these things for a certain purpose, man. You see, from the beginning, I made you to kill that nigga on 4th Street. The time comes. Uh, no, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. Verse 20, it says, shout, uh, my bad. Uh, verse 19, it says, as if a man did flee from the lion, and a bear met him, and went into the house, and leave his hand on the wall, So there's going to be no escape, man. That, that, that misfortune is going to be on another level. That misfortune, that misfortune coming from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you might have a bigger goes into how you might have escaped a certain situation and go right into a, a even more uh, a horrible one man that's that that's the misfortune that's gonna fall that's it that's, that's, that's the misfortune that's gonna fall on the world man speak for roger by the wonder from up there and the snake jumping too quick saying yeah. <laughs> yeah, your ass. Stuck, and that yeah, your ass. Beat your ass. Beat your ass. On the fucking waist up, man. Right. Yeah, I'm fucking through. Fuck That's the picture y'all gonna put up on the day that they don't allow eating that damn. Yeah. The back yeah. end was gone. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. hanging and shit. Yeah. All this shit. He looking like, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how it's gonna be. Yeah. You see, the Lord is gonna make it very painful for you people out here, man. Yeah. Yeah. You see, they really don't understand how bad it's really about to get, man. They really Ooh. take America, bro. They, bro, these people really, they taking trips, they going to the movies, they enjoying this shit. I, I be seeing, bro, put everybody up here seeing. We, every, every day we wake up, we see how these people just enjoy. They have no clue what's about to hit their ass, man. The Lord is about to bring those peoples, man. You know, we're going to unleash them, man. Matter of fact, let me uh, bring this up. This is Proverbs chapter 16, and it's going to be all the purpose and for the uh, purpose and pleasure of the Lord. It's Proverbs 16 and 4. The, the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shai, hath made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil, man. So all, all of these evils, which that contained within those evils, you got Esau, you know, you got the, the uh, 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 animals, you know, the, like the Quran said, the spirits that are created for, for, uh, uh, for, for vengeance, you know, you're going to have a uh, uh, famine, earthquakes, pestilence, disease, all different type of evils that the Lord is going to uh, 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 re uh, uh, release on these people, unleash on these people in the day of people, man, which is upon us now, man, you know? And it says they were all created to the Lord himself for himself, man. You know what I'm saying? The purpose of the Lord, man. The pleasure of the Lord. The will of the Lord. 
will purpose and pleasure of the Lord, man. Proverbs 1 and 20, uh, I'm just, Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, I mean, so speaking what it is, and, you know, you break down scriptures and explain to them and show them, and then they, they, they right away just, you know, they don't care. They think, well, I believe this. I, I, I feel like, you know what I mean, that's what, you know, the, the, that's why I said that the, the, the Hey, they buffalo shit. They shit that happened up there in Buffalo with that shit. How you I see went out there, it was preaching. The goddamn nigga woman was there. I don't want to hear that. Man. I don't want to hear nothing that was 1,300 years. I don't care about that. They don't, they don't care about the Lord, man. Right. You see? Oh, wow. Because I'm sure they pulled the scriptures out of the like, hey, bro, that was judgment. You know? That was judgment, but they don't want to hear it, man. They close their ears, man. And one scripture said his people are. Stupid, silent children. What a hotel, I mean. For my people, I'm foolish. About my people, I'm foolish. They have not known. Uh, I think it's Hosea 4 by 4. Jeremiah 4. Jeremiah 4. call you sottish, meaning stupid. You don't know anything. You're retarded mentally, spiritually, man. You're retarded as fuck, man. Tell you at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Proverbs 1 and 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Yeah, man. And at my reproof. And the Lord has shown these people that uh, has poured out his spirit unto these people, man. And the only ones that received it, or, or, or they are going to receive it, or have received it, are the elected of the Abbas and the El Jai. Now, Lord willing, we those men, but the rest of these people, the two thirds, they, 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 like it says in Isaiah the sixth chapter, man, you know, make their ears fat, you know, lest they be saved and uh, be converted. Right. Meaning what? That the Lord is not going to allow for these people to receive that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They're going to be left out uh, like the rest of these heathen, man. If we, if, we, if we just pan the camera around right now, you would see, bro, literally, all these people right here are going to die. Man. Literally, all these people driving up and down the street, they are going to die. The Lord is going to kill them, man. You see, we're the only ones who carry it. We're the only ones who find out for this shit. So in that time, the Lord is going to protect his men. He's going to protect the elect. Lord, what are we continue to endure, man? I'm going to jump down uh, 26. Proverbs 1 and 26. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. The Lord knows what you fear, man. You got it right. No, no, of course. The Lord knows what you fear, man. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of scared. I'm scared of watching it. I'm scared of, 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 of watching it. Oh, bring that shit on your ass, man. It's gonna, it's gonna be brought to life. Let's talk about them apparitions, just like yep. the Egyptians. Yep. Niggas were seeing them so-called guys right. worship, hunting, fucking with their ass, man. Yep. So the Lord is gonna bring that. Shit. The Lord is gonna bring that spirit back. All these, hey, even in the new Michael Myers, bro, at the end when they when they everybody was beating on them, they thought he was dead, and the old girls started talking. They, can't kill him. He, he's, he's, a, he's a spirit. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, a spirit. And that nigga rolled on it, shot the nigga, stabbed the nigga, the beat the nigga. The, 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 the dude would be dead. And this nigga rolled up and killed everybody. Everybody did it. Just slaughtered the ass, man. The Lord gonna bring them spirit. Have a nigga thinking, you got people scared of the spiders. You know what I'm saying? Different phobias and shit. The Lord gonna make it feel like it's spiders crawling on you, bugging the hell out, man. The Lord gonna know your fear, man. Yeah. I can't stand bugs. Okay. Yeah. Roaches. Man. Coaches start coming out like the nose and shit. <laughs> it, it ain't even happening. But to you, it's real. Everybody, you just fucking bugging out, man. Right. The Lord. Or you see that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, bro. There's a scene in that in that in that movie, Poltergeist. That, that first Poltergeist. I don't know if y'all seen the scene in that movie where the, the one of the techs uh, was in the bathroom. He was eating a piece of chicken out of piece of chicken, and then, and then the lights flickered, and then all of a sudden uh, uh, he dropped the chicken out of his mouth, had maggots on it. Then he started looking at his face, and he started peeling, peeling all the skin off his face yeah, until he yeah. tore it all the way down to a skeleton. And then all of a sudden it flashed, and, and, and then he was back to normal. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? Hey, uh, man. Yeah. The Lord's yeah. bro. The Lord is going to bring your fear upon you, man. But you got to remember, man, the Lord is going to pour out his wrath. 
Lord is going to pour out his wrath on this place, man. So he ain't going to hold back. He going to let them spirits. I forgot, I forgot what brother did, man. He was like, death. Uh, I thought it was the, I think it was the apostle of God said, death is an actual spirit, man. Yep. Yep. I was watching an old video when uh, him and the apostle Tahar and apostle Gordy was up in New York, man. He basically said, death is, the Lord is going to let death get busy, man. Go on and go all out. are saying because it's going to be a special time man you know what i'm saying it's daniel chapter 12 and verse 1 and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time so the times we're coming into you ain't never seen it man it's never been sent in some crazy terrible so-called terrible times in the earth child slavery you know what I'm saying? Great Depression. There's some crazy, you know, some terrible times in the earth. But that's child's play, baby play, to what's about to come in the earth. So it's going to be a special time. And the thing you, you're about to witness, experience, see, you've never seen. You're gonna, and you're only going to see it once because after that, it's going to be the implementation of the kingdom of heaven. So it says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. You know, which is the elect, man. You know, and of course, it's going into the kingdom, man. So this is going to be a special time. So everything that the brothers are bringing out and going into and saying, you know, for you that think it's far-fetched, man, you out your goddamn mind because Daniel just told you it's a time unlike any other since there was a nation, man. So all of that, the apparitions, the, the, the spirits, you know, the uh, uh, creative avengers, these animals, all this different stuff that's going to be in the earth, famines, pestilence, disease, earthquakes, you know, of course, uh, uh, the, the uh, race wars, the race riots, you know. Nation against nation, you know, it's going to be all kind of death going on out here in these, in these streets, man. You know, utter chaos and madness, you know. And then, um, the precept to that, Daniel 12 and 1, it said Isaiah 33 and 6. Because the only thing will keep you stable in them time is the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I be praying to the Lord to fortify my mind as a soldier of, of Yahweh Shah. To fortify me to like protect, to have a barrier around your mind, man. Like the dude. On the job, he put out on this. They can just keep living. They can, she waits and she ain't seen nothing. Nigga, you ain't seen <laughs> shit yet. It's the beginning of the sorrow, man. This, <laughs> nigga, you ain't gonna make it. Right. You got the skill, but tap into this, man. But you may not be part of the elect, so right. But the wisdom and knowledge of the Lord is what's gonna keep you stable in those times, man. Right. Like, we ain't bugging now. We see what's going on because y'all already told us. And if we catch our hair, we'll go through more, but we understand why. That's what's gonna keep us balanced, man. Hey, so, hey, so, hey, Lord, we'll give all praise to the glory to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Shem, and Kapadash. Don't want to go to the apostles, but then it's on the teacher of the world. Peace and blessings unto the elect,